Hi there, this is Joe from Shop 2 and I'm joined by Dan. Hi, am. Mr. Review Chat for Quantum Break. Which oh, is yeah, this is Remedy Entertainment one. and Xbox One and PC exclusive. There's quite <laughs> a lot of push behind this game. Yeah, okay, and, right. Uh, should we just jump straight in and say how yes, let's talk nervous about it. you were about reviewing this game? <laughs> okay, right. Now, the game itself puts you in the shoes of uh, Jack Joyce. And you've got Paul Serene, who's got the bad guy. Uh, basically, they're messing around with a time machine. And uh, things uh, go wrong. Jack things. Joyce yeah. finds himself with time powers. His brother, Will, becomes subject of... Quite a big subject of the game. I don't want to spoil too much, but basically, his brother, Will, plays a big part in it. Uh, and Paul Serene, you're kind of going after him with your time powers. And the Monarch Corporation, who... Is basically Paul Serene's corporation. They're trying to do something with us, with time, to their own benefit, basically. Yeah, yeah. And you're going after them and getting guns and shooting them. They want to go back in time and get a sports armor back then. So basically, what happens is uh, you get these time powers. You have to shoot against shoot against the bad guys. They'll come out. There's about five different bad guys, I'd say type different types of bad guys you get the normal standard guys with the guns and then a bit later on you get these other guys who who sort of shoot along and can manipulate time what you can so they'll shoot along and and you'll see them and try and shoot them and then they'll go whew, and then disappear and you go where do they go and then well, they take a slow down time and obviously to you they're running fast but they're, they're usually very slow I, think. I guess yeah and yeah. then uh, you've got the guys with the shotgun who are obviously heavily armoured and you need to somehow try and kill them but they're really tough and then you have this other guy who can shield himself and he's got a big sort of mini gun type right. thing but he can shield himself from your attacks so He's quite tough to beat, and there's this sort of robot thing as well where you need to shoot it in the back. So that's the enemies that I can remember, and that's sort of the biggest. What sort of, when you say that, I mean, you say there's lots of shooting. I mean, what sort of gameplay is this? Like a cover based shooter? Yeah, I think of Uncharted, really, sort of really, third right, person. Yeah. But the problem, I mean, I'm trying to stick to the positive points before I go to the yeah, negative I, points. I've a few. Uh, but. <laughs> Basically, let me explain these time skills. Now, gets yeah. the first sort of time skill you get is one where you can sort of look around. You you push the Y button and you can look around. Everything goes sort of dark, and you can see where the enemies are, well, and you so can see where maybe a, pauses, yeah, or, see where yeah. ammo is and stuff. Plus, you can also see what direction you're meant to go in or any parts to a puzzle so what you might the have to the mystical time power of seeing where to go next yeah so you might also you might have to shoot things down so you can progress so it'll, sh uh, the, it'll highlight them up they'll go up when you push that button so that you can then figure out what you need to do or if you need to get across the gap you can use a sort of rewind to, if you've shot something down you can use a rewind to then bring it back up again so that you can stand on it and then run across oh, the cool. gap well, sort of thing yeah, so that's sort of yeah does that and then you've got other powers where you can sort of time dodge where you just fly what those guys are explaining you can just go and yeah. dodge attacks and you've got this sort of time blast where you throw a blast and they'll fly in there but later on it gets stronger so you, you hold the button down and then throw it and then they'll just freeze in the air and that's them sort of done if you right. know what I mean uh, what are attacks you got uh, you have like uh, a shield as well, sort do, of thing. Do the powers recharge or can you Yeah, they do, they right. recharge. Right. They, they recharge and then you have a shield and then you also have this sort of time freeze where they'll... Now that time dodge I'm talking about, if you hold that button down it freezes time and you can run up to an enemy and then melee them and stuff. Sure. Uh, so yeah, that's basically the premise and then there's lots of guns lying about, so you can run at ammo, so you'll need to go get ammo or grab the enemy's guns and stuff like that. So the action's actually really good and really fun and quite unique feeling, but the problem is there's just not enough of it. There's just not enough action. It's I mean, mainly... You, you, you feared this quite a bit before, I think now you played it through. It's kind of solidified your... I reckon it's it. about three to four hours long, just if it's based on the action. If that, 
I mean, in between, you do have a TV show. Yeah, you have 22, four 22 minute TV shows, and you have this at the end of each act, you have a junction point where you play as Paul Sedin, and then you have to make a decision, and then based on your decision you make, that's the TV show you'll get. So this Now, when you say that's the TV show you get, is it a massive difference, or is it a different camera angle? No, it's, 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 it. it's based on different decisions. There's 40, I believe there's 44 different episodes been recorded, but obviously you only see four of them. So they have different choices. Now, is there replayability involved here? I don't think so, because, I mean, I skipped right. to TV shows because I got bored of them. And to be perfectly <laughs> honest... That's a review. I mean, it's that boring, isn't it? Wow. I, I just didn't enjoy it. I mean, I'm sure okay. some people will, but... Now, is there multiple endings? No. Same ending. One ending. So whatever you do, you get the same ending. And the see, ending... That's the thing. Of, and the endings, yeah. the endings. Uh, oh, we didn't really we talk about the ending because obviously that's the point of playing. No, the game, I was all going to say it's a bit so forgettable. You point, the game then fractures into lots and lots of different points and then goes all back to one again. Yeah, but I mean, so the really action happy. in between doesn't really change. The only thing that changes, as far as I know, as far as I could figure out, was the TV shows. Everything else kind of just plays yeah, out. This, the sounds, way it this plays sounds like out. more of an experiment than television. See, that's the problem. This is what I've wrote in my review. It was made four years ago when Microsoft had this big focus on TV, and that it kind of feels four years yeah. old in that respect. Okay. So, yeah, so it's a little bit disappointing. In my opinion, I was, I was so just the, disappointed. Oh, okay, so we always do try to stick with positives in games because you know, a lot of people have made that. There's always redeeming qualities in games. For the action involved, or right, you're not too impressed with the TV show, and we are a games reviewer, not a TV show reviewer. Uh, so for the, the actual action in the game, is does it warrant enough for you to go out and buy it and enjoy it? Is it a fun <laughs> enough game? To- <laughs> uh, <laughs> I want to be positive. I mean, I yeah. really do. I, lo- I love Alan Wake. I love yes. uh, Max Payne. The what, action's there's a, there's brilliant. Right there. You can play Alan Wake on the Xbox. Yeah, you get Alan Wake. The action <laughs> is really fun, but yeah. there's just not enough of it. Uh, okay, you know what? If you enjoy the TV shows, I mean, if you like the look of the TV shows, you like the look of the story. I mean, the game looks absolutely fantastic. The graphics are brilliant. Yeah. The action seems fine. There's a few niggly problems when it comes to going through doors and stuff. I'm sure that will all be patched out. Yeah. Games, but I mean, like I say, if you like, if you like action, then I mean the action's good, the graphics good, the story not really for me. But so what you've got here is an action game. It's short. It's quick. Um, it's just not the sort of game that you would play yourself. But if you're looking for a quick, if you're looking for a quick experience and something very different for a console where you've got a game and a TV go blended. This is not a bad idea. Yeah, it's I mean, just, it's just a little bit dated, considering how yeah, the game is. Yeah, it's a new like, idea. Yeah. If you like the idea, then maybe it's worth the disc. Really, that's what yeah. I'm saying. Okay, we'll leave it there. All right. Okay, thanks, for joining us. Bye. Bye.